Hey guys, it's JK, and today's video is going to be on things to consider when you're planning on taking a summer class. Now, a lot of these things I did consider, but some of them I did not, and they kind of caught me off guard and threw me off a little bit, but this video will hopefully help someone else that is considering taking a summer class, or, you know, even if you're um, already taking the class, like these may be things that you know you haven't thought about that you may want to take into consideration but anyway I'm gonna start with the semester itself at my school and a lot of schools in Georgia this may be different in different um, states and things like that but in my school a summer semester isn't technically an academic semester when you ask them well when they refer to an academic year they do fall and sp or spring and fall now the summer semester it does count you know just as much your classes and everything count but there isn't you know as much staff on campus the campus closes early there's no class on Fridays like a lot of things just aren't the same because it is not as important and a lot of people aren't registered for some you know it's way smaller now generally a summer semester is two months and that is half of the time of a regular semester so just think you're gonna be doing the same amount of work in half the time which means you have to work twice as hard which means there's going to be more homework well it's not really more it's going to come faster it's going to be a bigger workload and your tests are going to come with everything's going to be really quick quick and like you know it's going to seem like it's just all over the place but that's just how it is because you don't have as much time and the thing with the test and the homework they're gonna well with i know one thing with the test it's going to seem like you have a test every week well, you will have it. Most likely, you're going to have a test every week. And, you know, compared to having a test every other week or every two weeks. Because, like I said, you won't have as much time. Your professors are going to be way less lenient than they would be in the fall. Now, this may, like I said, I don't know, it may be different. But from what I've learned, they're, they pretty much won't tolerate any BS in the summertime. They have a job, you know. They have to give you this information and make sure that you can test on it and do good in a certain amount of time so they're not going to be they're not it's going to start right away you know usually you have a couple days or a couple weeks to get your books or you know do things like that they're like we already need you to have this this and that you might have like a week to get your books so everything needs to be pretty much taken care of before you start classes now as far as the actual classes registering for summer early is i cannot stress how important that is if you have a job if you have kids anything you need to register as early as possible and that's just because classes go they get taken up so fast like I can't even it's ridiculous because there's not as many classes and there's not as many there's not as much time you know in the school day so there's not going to be as many classes you might have like two of one type of class you know what I mean and so that means you either get in early or you get in like later and I've seen, well, when I went to go register for my classes, the class times that I wanted, I had saw them, but I didn't go ahead and register. I was just, you know, browsing the catalog, and I, if I had known better, I would have went ahead and got them, because I did not get one of the times that I wanted. Um, you know, it's not a big deal, because I don't have a job, and, you know, I'm, I don't have any kids or anything, but, you know, it would have been nice to have that time, and that is really important, because once it's gone, you know, you can't really do anything, and there's either online, a lot of people don't like online classes, or, you know, you're just SOL, so registering early is very, very, very important. The weather, oh my goodness, here in South Georgia, it is extremely hot, it's, uh, what is it, it's June, June 19th, and I think this is the hottest year I mean for it to be like this early in the summer this it's not been this hot so fast it was 102 degrees today y'all almost died like I'm not even kidding it was so hot but anyway prepare for that when you're walking across campus back and forth you know you're gonna be sweaty maybe or you know even if you drop I drive but I don't drive everywhere on campus I park in one spot and then I just walk everywhere because nobody likes to have to get in their car drive back and forth you know it's just too much and I know me, when I get around like really hot, when it gets too hot, I get agitated and I just get like, oh, leave me alone, don't touch me, don't talk to me. And I don't like to be like that, but the heat makes me that way. So just if you know you're like that, just prepare, you know, don't wear a jacket that you can't take off or, um, you know, if you 
want to, I don't know, just prepare, like put tank tops in your car or a change of clothes or anything like that because it's just, it could get pretty crazy. Back to the staff, there will be way less staff, um, which means way less help and it's going to be harder to find people that, you know, can completely help you because and I know they're all there to help you, but when there are only five um, advisors and there's like uh, two, three thousand students, they're not going to be as helpful, you know, as, as in like a one-on-one -on -one type of thing. They're going to, you know, help you out, but it's going to be way harder to get them to like sit down because there's a limited amount of them. So if you know you have something to talk to them about, try to make an appointment ahead of time. You know, don't just depend on stopping by because most likely there's 10 other students waiting and if you know you have to be to class at 12 and you really need to talk to them and it's 10:30, you know it's just, it won't work out. So just try to make appointments or just let them know, you know, hey, I'm gonna stop by. Will you be available this time? Just take action. Like, don't be so, um, you know, on the spot. You know, because most likely it won't work out that way. And a tip: you might want to choose classes for the summertime since it is half the time. You might want to choose classes that you know are not going to be like really critical to you graduating um like if you some classes don't really count for much or some classes are just you have to take just because an example there every, most people have to take the freshman year experience class and that's a class that's just required like you don't it usually doesn't count towards your degree you know it's pretty easy most of the time so taking that class in the summer would be a really good idea if you know you have to take an elective like fitness that would be a good idea to take that in the summer because if you know you don't do well with quick learning, taking a calculus in the summer is probably not a good idea. And so just consider that, like, you know, the half the time that's really important because, you know, if you go in and it's something that you know is going to take you a while to get through, don't take that class in the summertime unless you absolutely have to. And if you have to, you know, just there's always tutors and things like that to try to, you know, help you out. but. If you can help it, don't take a hard class in the summertime because it's going to be really fast and it's just going to seem crazy. Yeah, that was pretty much everything that I feel like you should consider. I'm sure there's some more stuff I left out, but, um, you know, whatever. It happens. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But uh, my next video, I plan to talk about things that I feel like um, you may need in college as far as like supplies and stuff like that and I'll do that you know towards a little bit later because it'll be closer to towards the end and I'll be able to let you know what I needed or what I found to be really useful or helpful and um, also I'm thinking about doing a video on these braids I do braid my own hair I did my last braids in my last video because, you know, going to someone to get your hair braided can be extremely expensive. We all know that. But, um, yeah, I was going to do a tutorial or something. I don't know. I don't know how many people would watch that. But, anyway, it's just um, something to look forward to, maybe. But thank you guys so much for watching my video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.